We will now show how dynamic interference detection within LogoPress Die Debugger will find missing slug clearances as the slugs drop through the plates of the die. First, I'll check to, to make sure that the slugs are created in the strip assembly. As you can see, here they are. And also that when I play the motion simulation, that they are falling, and they are. Then I will set the number of increments of the strip progression that LogoPress is going to check for interferences. Since slugs could be dropping down through thinner plates, I'm going to set this at 50. And then I'll select interferences computation. And it will check for interferences throughout the press cycle. As you can see, here's a list of all the angles of the press cycle that it checked for interferences. And it only found one. I'll select it from the list here. And we can see that it did find interference between, and as I expand this, between the slug and a shim underneath a die insert. We can now clear out this slug opening before any blocks are made or before we get it in the press and the slugs stack up to cause a crash.